Hello, my name is Adrian and I am a technical success manager here at CircleCI. Today, I'm going to help you change the retention period for your artifacts, caches and workspaces, which will allow you to save valuable credits each month on storage. And this is how we're going to do it. So the easiest way is to log into your UI and you'll be presented with a page such as, uh, such as this one. What we'll then do is at the top of the page here, we can click on usage, and this will give you a full breakdown of your month by month usage with all the various components. The one that we're gonna particularly pay attention to today is the storage component, which we can see right here. So if I was analyzing this particular account, we can see that 853,616 credits has been spent so far this month in September totaling with 2.2 terabytes of data, which is being stored on CircleCI, which is a lot. And that's a lot of credits that we would look to tackle. So if we wanted to get a deeper view into these credits, the easiest way is to click on the storage tab down here at the bottom. And we can see a full breakdown as to which components are contributing to that 2.2 terabytes that we want to tackle. So we can see that if we look at the three object types, we have the caches, the workspaces, and artifacts, as I mentioned before. Uh, caches make up 563.8 gigabytes, workspaces are 68 gigabytes, and then artifacts make up 1.5 terabytes of the overall storage. So straight away, you can see that there is an outlier there in the artifacts, which is the main contributor. So that would be the first one that we would look to tackle. Now, for transparency, every single a gigabyte that is used over your allowance and every annual plan customer gets 200 gigabytes per month free storage as you can see here 200 gigabytes month for this uh, per month for this billing period every gigabyte which is over this we charge at 25 cents which if you are going over by you know 5 10 20 gigabytes is not going to make a huge difference but in this case where we're at 2.2 terabytes and we're only 10 days into September this would be a huge thing for us to look at so let's say, okay, we want to address this artifacts, 1.5 terabytes, that's a huge amount, and caches as well at 563 gigabytes. What is the best way to do this? At the very top of the page here, you can see the usage controls. If we click on this, you can then see the three components that we spoke about earlier, which are your artifacts, your workspaces, and your caches. Now your tab may look slightly different, because uh, as you can see here, this account has already altered the, uh, the retention periods for the artifacts, the workspaces and the caches. The default is 30 days for artifacts, 15 days for workspaces and 15 days for caches. In my experience working with many, many customers here at CircleCI, we would start by halving each of these retention periods and seeing how that affects your overall spend when it comes to storage. So you can see in this example, they've done exactly that. We have artifacts being stored for 15 days, workspaces for seven days, and caches for seven days. If you wanted to edit these any further or customize the amount of days that you're storing, we absolutely recommend doing that. The easiest way to do it is to simply take this and drag the slider to the left or to the right and find the optimal amount of days that you'd like to store each of those components for. And then just remember to click save changes here at the bottom. And that will take effect immediately. You can test it for a week, you can test it for two weeks, make sure that it doesn't have any impact on any bills, especially when it comes to the workspaces and the caching. And then yeah, lower it down as, as, as much as you want. The lower or the less days that we restore stuff for, the less that you'll pay in, in caching overall. Hopefully you found that helpful, quick and easy fix, and hopefully it will save you a lot of credits. Thanks.